area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. But they tell you be safe when you out in these streets Rest in peace, King Nib, stay dangerous Cause motherfuckers play for keys Keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster Better keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster With all You already know what it is, man Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc, etc Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you Let it click and blend Follow me on Instagram, Vida underscore fly Tell your mama I said hi Salute to my guy Showtime SP And all that and all of that Alright, so let me just Talk about what needs to be talked about Before you put a fork in me Take this walk with me A Ward and Geechee Gotti Have been going back and forth They've even agreed to battle in November I don't know what card is going to be on. I don't know when it's going to, what league or none of that. I did speak with Geechee very briefly via text yesterday. And this is a thing. This is a real thing. I don't know if it's going to be in LA. I don't know where it's going to be at Showtime SP. Do you want to go see Geechee Gotti versus a Ward live? I do. I definitely do. It's something that I would like to see. We did speak about it. It's something that hopefully happens, you know, hopefully I can get to the see it. But, uh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, where did we start? So these guys battled a couple years ago. Uh, you know, it was a lunchroom. It was a couple fans around. It wasn't really like a big event. Geechee Gotti treated it kind of like practice. You know, it was like pra practice, not a game that I die for. We sitting here talking about practice. That's what we're talking about right now. Um, a Ward treats every single battle seriously. He brings 100%. And, you know, this, this started... When somebody said EFB versus the Four Horsemen set it up. And I'm just going to paraphrase. I do got some screenshots, but I'm going to paraphrase because I can give you what I give you, how I give you what I give you. You know what I'm saying? This is like your mama's cooking. You're going to eat what I give you. That's what you're going to do. You're going to eat what I give you. So uh, EFB versus the Four Horsemen and Geechee Gotti basically was like, ain't none of them, as far as the Horsemen, on the level of talent as me and rum nitty so this would really be a waste of time you know what i'm saying i, I do have that one he said uh efb versus the horsemen set it up Geechee says nobody in their crew is at the level of myself and rum so we would be wasting time basically saying that none none of them guys none of the talent that you have on your squad is at our level so we would just be wasting time you know what i'm saying like and like i'm wasting time showing you the screenshot so he's saying basically none of y'all at the level that we at so it'd be just wasting time so, uh, A Ward, you know, he's gonna say what he says. You know what I mean? A Ward said, and like I said, this is like it's a bunch of them, but I'm just gonna read them. Um, A Ward says, Geechee saying EFB is like me saying every effing outfit. You know damn well I'm good for one out of five. Geechee Gotti then responds and says, You a nigga who's gonna give three decent rounds and cost the price of two ounces. Of course you'll be booked. It's not rocket science. You're a cheap battler who loves battling. You're a league owner's wet dream. A Ward responds and says, you right, because I have a great job and don't need battle rap money, so I'm always going to work with the leagues. As a matter of fact, I worked with you, was flexible, and did my thing. So don't downplay my bread all you want, but if my rounds were decent, I wouldn't be top 20 for four straight years. Geechee Gotti also said, we can go live and I can explain to you in real time why you're not good to me and why you need to go back to the drawing board after your last performance. And then A Ward responds, who are you? I don't care if you don't think I'm good. Every time I spar with the people in your crew, they tell me I'm one of the best in the world and they actually have pens. So, this is referring to A Ward's last performance versus Rosenberg Raw. I said it in the recap. I think A Ward is starting to battle a little too much because the gap is closing between him and some of the other superstar talents. And that's because 
when you battle every single week. His first round versus Rosenborg Row was crazy, but after that, after that was just after that. You know what I'm saying? And I, I rock with A Ward, but the battle to me between the both of them, him and Rosenberg Raw, was just so average that I didn't even recap it. Like I, I, I recapped it in a recap, but I didn't do an individual video for that battle. That's just because to me, it's a it's a certain level of battle. Like it's got to be crazy, and to me that battle was not crazy. Like they they did their thing, it was I, right, but I right is not enough for the fight. So. Uh, a Ward then said, we can go live and rap tonight, and I can beat you again. Um, I said Geechee Gotti went on his timeline and chose violence. Geechee Gotti responded to me, said, the fact is that I beat him in the I beat you in a battle that he got paid $750 to do. Like, bro, what did you win? Damn, show ain't win respect, because I still think you asked, and you opening up cards that I turned down, and you still can't F with me. Uh, he said, uh... Gishi Gai then said, me and you battled four years ago, and you still opening up cards. That just do not mean popularity. It's obviously skill difference. You figure out that out, and once you stop battling, you'll open more doors. I can manage your career if you need to. Let me know all jokes aside. You know what I'm saying? And then Saga, uh, he jumped in. And he said, you mentioned the horsemen. It's my business, too. You thinking I ain't qualified is hilarious. Basically saying that, you know, you thinking that I'm not qualified to speak on this. Uh, Gichi Gotti then responded to Saga and said, Didn't you choke on the biggest battles of your career? Somebody tell Dre Dennis mascot to stop speaking out of turn. Yo, Gichi, yo, yo, yo. Why are you why are you like this? Like, why are you like this? Like this is this is a little, this is a little. This is a little bit much, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be talking to that man like that, you know what I'm saying? Saga, go find that man. Don't come back till you find that man. Uh, a Ward then told him, you're not better at me at anything besides podcasting. That is funny. Salute to no studio and podcast. Um, Gigi Gotti told him, bro, you damn near got laughed off the stage spitting at Reggie and had to do a drunk parking lot battle the next day. It's levels champ. Our battle was a milestone for you. For me, it was just practice. And then Saga told him, everybody got jokes until they get smoked by the horsemen. Geechee tells Saga, cool story, bro. Just stay in your tear bracket. You minding business that you ain't qualified for all that. Yo, you know Saga Bit was around before you, son? Like, you talking to this man like he just got to you all like yesterday. Like, you mad disrespectful, B. So, um... <laughs> Fuck the notes, man. I, I got it from here. Um, basically, Geechee and Gotti and A-War got a battle again. I did tell Geechee Gotti when we spoke that, yo, you got to... This this is something that has to happen because the way A-War is carrying you, it's like this because he beat you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got battled before, but A-War clearly won the battle. I don't even remember what league that shit was on. Was it... Uh, Lunchroom Summertime Battle League. I don't fucking remember what, what battle that league that shit was on, but you got to you got to straighten that. That, that thing, <laughs> that joint needs some straightening because he's he's carrying it like yo, I beat you. You know what I'm saying? Like I I, I got you up out of here, and that's the one blemish on your record. You know what I'm saying like your record has a blemish on it because of the fact that that it would beat you. It's pretty clear. Yeah, it might have been a battle that you ain't care about, but. It's still a battle that we gotta hear about. Ooh, that was kind of fire. Um, but if it happens later on this year, I'm sure it'll have a lot of implications because A Ward, like I said, he's a fire MC. He does his thing. I know there's people who hate on A Ward. There's people who love A Ward. A Ward just had a parking lot battle versus uh, PC with PC and um, I think it was AR16. Yeah, AR16 and PC was spitting rhymes. PCs was clearly written. This dude comes out. Uh, we do communion in my church. We rock with fake blood too. Like that was fire. And then he walked off and did his thing. But I don't know when A Ward is gonna come to URL if he ever will go. That's his personal business. But him and Geechee definitely have some unfinished business. ARP, do you believe they have they have uh whatever that shit? Closure, closure shit. My bad. I get these motherfucking one events called this, the next event is called that. I don't be knowing what these shits is called. But they do have some business that they need to take care of between each other because this is uh 
This is the thing, where both MCs are dope, and if they were to battle again, I know Gigi Gotti will bring his whole A game because he knows where or what it means to not give your all in a battle, and then you lose that battle, and then the other person can carry that. Like, I beat you. You can say whatever you want, but I beat you when we battled. Um, I hope to see the rest of the horsemen soon, you know what I'm saying? Like, continue doing what they're doing. I think Loso's a hell of a talent. Um, Saga's talented too. He just needs to get back on his A game and battling. Uh, Street Hymns just battled uh, the other day. He wore the Captain Super Save a Ho Superhero Man suit. Uh, that was fire. Um, EFB, you got Geechee Gotti, you got Rum Nitty. I believe Jerry West is in EFB. Uh, JC, B Magic. I don't know who Ed, everybody's in EFB. I'm in EFB. Every fucking blog, you know what I'm saying? I'm an EFB to every fucking blog. So, uh, you know, salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying I appreciate y'all niggas stepping up, man. Clicking bland, follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. Go. Yeah. The streets ain't safe, but they tell you be safe when you out in the streets. Peace, King Nip, stay dangerous, cause motherfuckers play for keys. Keep you a toaster, keep you a toaster, better keep you a toaster, keep you a toaster. With all that internet beefing, how you out here necking? You mean to tell me you just a loud mouth nigga that's reckless? Some of you niggas got death wishes, you do it for likes. Go viral to get killed later on that night. It's shit crazy to find out you wasn't on that hype. For them views, you really just pay with your life. All the real killers I know, they don't be online. And if they is, they just waiting for you to post your lie. I ride around me 